Life here, and um, today I'm bringing you an awesome video from uh, my new room in the house that I am renting. So, ta-da, that's it. Um, so, I'm back to school, uh, Cal Poly Pomona in uh, Pomona, California, LA County, and uh, I am renting this house with uh, four other guys that go there as well. Um, even though this is my second year, starting my second year, uh, they're pretty much graduating. They have I have like two biochem majors, roommates, uh, computer science major roommate, and a music major roommate. Uh, so um, they're pretty nice. I hadn't met them before, uh, but uh, there was on-campus housing, and I was on the wait list, too high up on the wait list. So I had to find a place to rent, uh, although luckily I'm actually happier that I'm here because it's like half price rent compared to on campus because on campus is crazy but um, enough of that uh, so back at college but I uh, haven't been able to make a video uh, in a couple of like a week uh, I did post a, a Blackwing speed duel on dueling network video uh, because I built Blackwings and I'm playing those now at locals I just played them last Tuesday uh, yesterday or two days ago if it's in the morning um, so uh, it's so I'm doing school so but I've tried to be doing videos uh, I go to locals every uh, Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday uh, so I'm going to be uh, just that's gonna be what I'm gonna be doing for Yu-Gi-Oh wise um, so this video is just gonna be me kind of updating you on what's going on with me and uh, kind of a couple of my thoughts of uh, what I've experienced in this format so far uh, so in this format, we pretty much found out that dragons are still the best deck. Uh, this kind of sucks, but I mean, it's not like so ridiculous um, as it was last format that you just don't want to play. Uh, you always have a chance against dragons. Um, the one thing I do have to say is dragons really don't have any bad matchups. No matter what you're playing, you always have an uphill battle against dragons. Uh, dragons always have the advantage. Yeah, some decks have 50-50% chance of winning, but the majority of the time, dragons have a better chance because it's just such a good deck still. Um, uh, the other, kind of my, my thoughts on the tiers, dragons are like the best. Uh, Dragoonity dragons count. And then, like, also on tier 1, I'd have to say, I don't feel like spell books are really tier 1 anymore. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Mermails, I guess. Really, it's like another dragon format, but I, I, if I had to put a couple other decks on tier one, I'd have to say Mermails, and I guess Spellbooks. Um, let's see, Evil Swarms. I, I have some, I have it against Evil Swarms. Um, I mean, it's it's a okay deck, but I feel like it's really linear, and it's just like Ophion. Like, that's really what they do, and it's it's just supposed to be, like, dragons get hurt by it, and I guess mermails get hurt by it, but not really. Um, so, and that's the meta, so it's supposedly good. But I feel that if you are a good player and you don't draw terrible, you should win against Evil Swarms. Um, because it's like, because it has one play really go into uh, Ophion. Even though there are other things, the majority of the time you go into Ophion is, like, really one thing. Uh, it's really easy to stop it. Um, I mean, you warning their first monster, they really can't do much. Um, so that's it. So Evil Swarms, I guess you could say Tier 1. Uh, but Dragons are the best deck. And then for me personally, uh, I believe that uh, Black Wings are the best tier non-Tier 1 deck. I feel they're better than... Concellers really haven't been doing much. Um... They do well against Evil Swarms. They have a great matchup against Evil Swarms because Ophion does nothing to them. They just attack and collute you, collute them, and then you get your search. Uh, or you have uh, Icarus attack two to get rid of their back row. And I side deck dev. Uh, I'm sorry, not deck dev. Eradicator, which is amazing against so many decks because you collute and the attack stays. So Black Wings uh, played my first uh, tournament with them yesterday, Tuesday. And uh, I did pretty decent. It kind of, I just kind of had like a funk. I, I won my first two matches. 
first two matches were fine. Uh, I played against a three-axis Fire Fist deck and then like a four-axis Fire Fist deck for round one and two. Round three, I get paired down to Dragons, which means he was 1-1 and I was 2-0. And I ended up losing game one because I had I misplayed. But uh, he had uh, returned from the different dimension, which means like it didn't matter if I misplayed. He still would have killed me. Um, game two, I ended up winning because turn one, I went like whirlwind, whirlwind. Uh, Soroko, not Soroko, uh, Shura into Bora and Clute into Key Beetle, and I had Imperial Iron Wall, so I just like Key Beetle the Iron Wall, and then the next turn I Key Beetled the, the uh, Black Whirlwind, so he really couldn't get rid of it. And he had Royal Decree, but I sat in MSTs. If you're playing Black Wings, you should always sat in MSTs because people always sat in Decrees. Um, but I think I'm going to make another video. I'm kind of ranting on about Black Wings. Uh, ranting so I'm gonna make another video about black wings, but uh, I feel like uh, Dragons are the best deck obviously. Um, I guess you could put evil swarms in tier one uh, Mermails, I'm pretty sure tier one spell bucks I guess and then tier two like black wings. I feel are the best um, tier one non tier one deck and then there's like uh, Consellers really haven't done much. I'm trying to think what else I've played against fire fists. Oh, that's another tier one deck uh, four axis, three axis, fire fist. Those are tier one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much like the main decks that I can think of. Uh, if you guys can think of other better decks, oh, Machina Gear, yeah, I feel like they're not tier one. They're like tier two, although they have been winning. Um, so I'm just for blanket statement, I'm gonna say dragons are the best deck, and then everything else is below it. So, um, so yeah, I'm really liking Black Wings. Just played them one day. I'm gonna be playing them today. Uh, it's like three in the morning. I'll be playing them today, and uh, it's a box tournament, so hopefully I'll learn from my mistakes, because it was the first day playing Black Wings, kind of uh, got to get used to it. So, tomorrow box tournament, uh, I guess I'll make a video tomorrow, tonight, I, I keep saying, I'm just going to say tomorrow, today, Thursday, uh, I'm going to be playing in the box tournament, I'll tell you guys what I how I do tomorrow, I guess, whenever that is, and... Um, I'll be posting more videos, going to be posting the Blackwing deck profile. Um, I'm, I ordered a bunch of stuff on eBay for Chain Burn. I still haven't got, I gotten everything except for my uh, Seeker Barrels for some stupid reason. I can easily get them, but I bought them, so I don't want to get them again. Uh, but uh, if I don't get them tomorrow, I'll have to file a claim. But uh, So I got the Chain Burn. I'll be making a Chain Burn deck profile. Um, I need two Draco Sacks and a Big Eye. And then I have the entire dragon deck. I've had all the stuff forever. I just needed the extra deck cards. I got a Star Eater uh, this past week. Because uh, Cal, Cal Poly has like a bunch of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh players that uh, meet up uh, during like in, during uh, the, the uh, week. And what we have like a big uh, BSC, they call it. Student Center, all these arcades and stuff. So um, I've been trading for that. I need two Draco Sacks and a Big Eye if you guys have any of those. Or an Orient Dragon, let me know because I need those really bad. Um, I am trading slash selling an Agent deck, and uh, I posted the deck profile uh, before a couple days, like a week ago. Um, everything except for a couple of cards that are foreign. I got like German Maxis and French Maxis, uh, German Trags, a bunch of stuff I swapped for at Worlds. Uh, but other than that. Uh, the whole deck is for trade. I think it's like 60 or 80. I can't remember. So if you're interested, PM me. If you have Dragon Second Big Eye, PM me. Um, stay tuned for more awesome videos. And uh, yeah, uh, this is Comfort for Life. Keeping it real. Signing out.